Welcome to problem 5.12. In this case, we have a binomial probability distribution. Because of the six Americans that were sampled, they either own an iPhone or they do not. It is estimated that the 47% of smartphones or cell phone users own an iPhone. So that gives us the probability that we need. To calculate the mean, we simply take the expected uh, value of 0.47, so the probability, and we multiply by the sample size. So out of six users, we'd expect 2.82 to own iPhones. The formula for the variance is given to you. It's actually kind of on sort of two pages. The standard deviation is on page 185 of your book, and the variance is also part of the standard deviation because it's the standard deviation squared. And I'll show you how to set that calculation up in Excel. So of course, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance, as you know from previous problems. I'll show you how to use the binomial distribution function to calculate the values that are in the P bracket X uh, column. And we'll do the probabilities for one through, or sorry, zero through six. So the, you just have to read the table then. So the probability in part A that exactly four owners will own an iPhone is 0.2056, so 20.56%. The probability that all six of them will own an iPhone is 0 0.0108. The probability there'll be four or more, you simply sum up four, five, and six, as you can see. And what are the mean and the standard deviations, which you read from the table up above? And again, I'll show you an Excel video how to do that. So what are the assumptions you need to make in A through C? The assumption is the owner owns an iPhone or does not own an iPhone in the next six adults selected. So even if they don't have a phone at all, then that would be they don't own an iPhone. So they either own an iPhone or they don't.